very difficult for a leader to measure his or her growth in godliness. It's actually easier for others to do it. So we are quite self-deceptive when it comes to our godliness. We convince ourselves that we're more godly than we are. And uh, very often we don't concentrate on the areas we need to concentrate on. So if I sit down with someone and I'm not being completely honest and they say to me, where do you need to grow in godliness? I'll often choose a topic which is not particularly challenging to me or to them. And I can look very holy and look as though I'm making progress. In, in fact, what I need to be able to do is have people who can honestly ask me questions, honestly help me assess and honestly help me make progress. And that requires a level of vulnerability. So with my fellow elders in church, for example, I need to be vulnerable with them. I need to be honest with them about the things I struggle with. I need to be honest with them about my failings. And in fact, it's healthy for a church to see that at some level. Not that a pastor should be breaking down in the pulpit every Sunday, but actually a church does need to see a pastor repent, does need to see a, child, a pastor say sorry and to ask for forgiveness. That's absolutely critical. And we can't do that without others. If you're married, of course, your spouse can be a great help. But sometimes even a spouse can be blind and, and get used to your faults and your failings. So it's good to have friends in the church, friends outside the church with whom you can be accountable and honest.